Body work, body work. More body work and body work. What's going on guys, Metaver here, Lethal Garage, and today we are back with more body work on the 1971 Lethal Classic. You see we got still mud on the door, we got mud all on the backside. The biggest update here is the rear end. So the trunk, we got gapped, we got smooth, we got aligned, we got everything. And then also, we got a few layers on the lower bumper. No more dents, no more issues, just getting it smoothed out and looking good. So overall this is looking good and then now we've started on the passenger side. We've getting this all roughed up so we can get our first coat of filler. So we get it all smooth side to side, evened out, paneled out from where we're at. We're not thinking it's going to take that much filler. but coming along and I think we'll get a coat of primer on her today too just to keep her protected now they're having some fun on Mike's car they're finding areas that have more Bondo than uh, anything else but lots of fun well we got this corner looking great it's ready for glazing and whatnot we got this upper corner looking pretty good we got a lot of work to still do on the door this side over here is sanded got nice and nice and good guide coat I didn't do down here and we got the first layer on the door and fender so got a lot of sanding to do we'll hit that with the DA first and then we'll we'll guide coat it and then start blocking it out and see see how it looks but trunks ready for glazing and then the other side, the lower pan, we're gonna round, we're rounding it out just a little hair more. So we got another little coat up to there, and now we're mixing another batch to do the rest. So today has led to lots of smooth transitions, a lot of first, you can see we put a ton of Bondo in there, but a lot of it came off. We've got a lot more work to do on this side, so you got a lot of high spots. Uh, Craig is, he's got the DA now, I'm trying to round out the back on this setup and it's looking a lot better. He's just knocking it down. You can see we got some final areas. I think we're basically done for the most part with filler on the back half. If anything, we just have some filler to do on these front panels. I went sanding away at this for most of the day in this upper corner up here. Uh, starting to look a lot better, but we're getting to the point where we'll get a good sand on the rest of the black panels and get them down to metal, get our filler coat on, glaze the back side of the car and then get a guide or not a guide coat but a feather fill layer on there and then block out the entire car so we've yet to block the entire car so we're getting there but it, it's, it's coming along this is just a long process if you guys uh think this is fast it's not it's it's gonna take a while so we're assuming we have a month plus more Craig works on it during the week. I come up on the weekends. So, I mean, the, just having the trunk done alone is huge. It's looking good. And then Mike's car, they had fun today. They got a lot of blending to do and everything, so they're doing a full repaint. The car's all scuffed up, but uh, they widened out the rear fenders because before the, it was hitting the tires. So now he's putting a much bigger motor in and maybe bigger tires. So yeah, we'll see what happens. So when you hire Mike to do wiring work, oh, God. It goes under the motor. That goes under the motor. You can't see it. It looks pretty good. But there's a motor. It looks there. great. <laughs> that, that, that's not how he does wiring, I promise. Hey, Craig. Ever said thanks to you on camera? Yeah, all the time. Thank hey. you. You're, You're doing a kick-ass job, Craig. We appreciate you. Thank you. Hey, everybody, 
watching this video. Post down below. Thanks, Craig. <laughs> so at the end of the day, if there's anything I could say about this process, it's long. You just, you gotta do it a lot. A lot of layers. And, uh, yeah. We're, we're just getting into it. So, in the end, we'll see how good we do when we paint it. Because that's gonna be the telltale. If you put the time and the effort to make it look good, it's gonna show in the paint job. And in, and in Craig's arms, because they're gonna be massive biceps when he's done. <laughs> but man, look at this back end, guys. Oh, this look good. I wanna just put the bumper on there to see what it looks like. It's like, there's so many things I just wanna do. Like, I wanna bring the lights up so I can be like, here's a sneak peek at the rear end, but it's like, no, you can't. It's too dusty, too dirty. I'd love to start the wiring, but why? You just, you can't yet. It is what it is. Well, that's all I got this video, guys. Uh, as always, thanks for following along the journey. Um, again, there's gonna be a lot of videos on this subject, so hopefully if you guys are wanting to see body work or see how far it comes along as we go through the journey, you'll you'll keep watching. Um, but, you know, at least the next couple of weeks is definitely gonna be more videos like this. And hopefully you'll see the car progress with us and see I mean, every time we come up and we walk away from it at the end of the day, it looks better and better. So I'm excited. It's, it's, it's that time where you can get lost though. You can get really lost in the build at this point. So it's a lot of patience, a lot of not spending money. So I'm taking my book home so I can start actually spending money on the interior parts and pieces, but that's it. So, but until next time guys, hope to see you on the road.